Welcome back to Honda Football. In today's unboxing and first impression video, we're going to be taking a look at the new UA Spotlight MC football cleats sent over from my partners at eastbay.com. Now, you guys have been waiting for these cleats to come out since February, March, since I started doing the 2018 reviews. You guys saw what these look like when I showed my video of some of the new products coming out, and Under Armour finally released these cleats, the new spotlights. So, let's take a look at what Under Armour gave us for the 2018 football season. Now here's one of the cleats, I got them in black. At the time where I put in my order, I think there were only one or two colors available. Now if you look at the link in the video description, there's gonna be nine different colors from East Bay. Uh, but this is the black colorway. And I'm gonna go through all the different improvements that they made on this cleat or all the technology that's in here. Now you guys probably saw this in the UA All-American game over in January. I think they had them in orange. Uh, it was on my Instagram. A lot of the players were wearing them, uh, but it took a long time for them to actually come to uh, production. So here you're looking at the new spotlights. Now what you'll notice first is the cuff. It's got the sock-ish liner that all the new speed cleats have for this year. The added zeros have them, the new Vapor Untouchable Pro 3s have them, and now the UA Spotlights. This is going to be uh, the top speed cleat, um, not including the highlights, in Under Armour's lineup. Now these retail for $110, so that's a little bit cheaper than what you're going to find on both the added zero side and the Nike Vapor Untouchable side. It's a little bit more expensive than both the Freaks, which are under $100, and more expensive than the Vapor Speeds, which are also just under $100. Um, these are 110. Now, besides the stock liner, you'll see that it is one piece construction with overlays. Now, this is a lot like some of the knit material um, that both Adizero uses and that Nike uses. Now, we'll have to see how pliable this is when I test it out. You can see that, again, a lot like the Vapor and Pros from Nike, they've made it a little bit more pliable. Looks like a nylon or feels like a nylon uh, construction here um, that's meld it to uh, the upper, this knit upper. Now when you see this, this is a little bit less of a knit upper than something like the Atta Zeros. See how short this cuff is. It's about uh, three quarters of an inch, um, but you're gonna see that it's easy to put your foot in as well. So I can't wait to test them out and try them out. Um, now, they also talk about the insole. The older spotlights were super, super comfortable. They had something called 4D foam that molded to your foot shape. So even though um, you know I wanted the traction to be better on the older spotlights, the comfort was super, super high if you guys remember those videos. Now they have a new super foam, they're calling it, uh, which is supposed to enhance the rebound uh, and cushioning in the cleat. So it's supposed to be one, super comfortable, and it's supposed to react to your speed. Now Nike uses this with carbon uh, in their plate to give you some of that snap. Um, Adidas uses Kevlar and carbon to give you some of that snap in some of their Kevlar cleats like the, the Freak X Kevlar or Freak X Carbon. And here, they don't use that, they use a, a foam, so we're gonna have to test it out. Now when you look at the bottom of the cleat, the cleat pattern, this has always been one of my main uh, challenges uh, with Under Armour is improving just the traction. Now they modified a little bit. They still have the conical studs, which haven't given me the best traction with Under Armour cleats, but they've added some of the blades in some key strategic places. You'll see it on the medial side and the inside of the forefoot. These are blades here to enhance some of the change of direction and speed and takeoff. And then they have new blades at the back. This is all new. Um, it used to have four conical studs to enhance some of that as well. So I'm really excited to test these out, hoping that it gives me better traction in both grass and turf. So I'll be testing it out uh, this weekend and giving you guys a review. Now, I'm also gonna test out the weight. Uh, they feel pretty light. Um, they feel on par with the other spotlights, but I'll have to actually test uh, that out. But excited to hear what you guys think after you see this. It's kind of a, a cool silhouette. All the lows are getting a little bit higher. Um, but let me know what you think of this design with the new spotlights. Uh, look at the link in the description. Check out the other colors. They got like a, a green, a blue, an orange, a red, a white, and a, and a black, and maybe some other ones as well. Now, if you like this first impression video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Tell your friends, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.